Hey there and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Do you want to know what we do add next? Well, stick with me today because we are starting off with the speed build of a brand new habitat and also I'm going to talk you through what I've done in the meantime to secure this project. So, let's do it. Alright, so there's a reason why we start off with a time-lapse today, but before I'm going to talk about this reason in particular, let me just give you a little brief update on what has happened in between. So it's been a while, uh, actually two weeks since the last episode. Um, this was mainly because of the fact that, you know, there's been games come in between and then my uh, um, my wife's brother, which I have no idea how the English word for that is, um, did marry. So uh, this week was basically, um, you know, uh, filled in with a lot of duties we had before this marriage. But that shouldn't be, you know, subject of today's episode. Um, I actually did run this game on this franchise for a about two hours and I made some significant money as you can see so we started off with like 80k um, and the the way I did this is basically I started to reduce the um, the fees from the people actually what they get back because you know um, people have been uh, dissatisfied and when they leave the zoo they you know there's kind of the refund system um, and so effectively we lost uh, more money due to the refunds than we did lose uh, through the food which uh, you can imagine is already quite a problem. So what I did basically is I employed quite a lot of vets, I did employ quite a lot of educators and I also did employ a lot more vendors and stuff so just to you know raise the overall happiness. As you can see to the top left, uh, bottom left um, over there on your screen uh, it's still all you know very mediocre but it has been super bad indeed and now um, at least I went down to mediocre um, and you know we are constantly improving um, by having more vets doing more research and also more educators hopefully doing more education I basically filled in everything like crazy with a lot of education boards and blah 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 but we are also going to have a little real-time part in a couple minutes in which we're going to take even more focus on or actually we will put a lot more focus on these things um, I have done quite a lot though um, in this time lapse but also in a little bit of an off-screen recording in between um, because I've changed my computer again <laughs> I just basically never told you, but for those of you who follow me on Twitter, they do know. In, in case you don't, guys, and you do have Twitter, what are you doing? Please follow me over there, because um, whenever you want to know something about the channel, about updates and stuff, um, it's pretty much likely that you will get it there, uh, the info first. So whatever is going to happen regarding my, f my channel is going to happen on Twitter, and I'm being very active there lately as, as well with a lot more other stuff so if you guys want to be there just like a little hint linky is in the description as always but you know let's talk about this habitat and you know um, making a secret out of it is basically irrelevant for me because you guys see what it is from the thumbnail anyway so here you go um, it is a jaguar habitat and the reason why I went for jaguar is again down to you guys because you commented that the jaguar is pretty much a very good one when it comes to selling um, so that they're you know sold um, for a lot of money and since we're still having some money issues here and there I thought you know what um, then I'm gonna go that route also it just kind of fits very nicely into this spot over here because um, we needed to make our way up the hill and uh, since the Jaguars um, do quite like these kind of hilly areas kind of a bit of jungle-ish you know um, having a lot of inclines and something to dive in and so we could make like an underwater view and an overwater view and you know all these kind of things together um, form a very suitable spot for the Jaguar. So I'm uh, relatively happy with how it is. Also, um, I really hope you guys are fine with the looks of it. Um, it. It is definitely not as detailed as I usually build, but there is a reason for that. We are still running rather low on money, so I wanted to make sure that I optimized the money um, spent on this habitat. So I really tried to focus on the relevant things rather than going too crazy. Of course, I just tried to make it somewhat look nice. You'll see I'm going to put a lot more effort onto like a bit of the cobbles and stuff inside of the water, so to make at least the gas. Uh, viewing very nice and so but you know since you guys have been a little bit um, less treated with uh, time lapses lately um, I thought it might be a good one to start off this one with a little time lapse but we are going to jump into the real-time part in a bit as I said um, and so just a couple updates here before we jump over and I hope you stick with me please do stick with me not only for the algorithm but also for your interest because the real-time part is going to be in very interesting because we're going to cover what's going to happen next and how we move forward because I think we have just kind of jumped the critical point and so there are some more uh, other things in the future that we need 
to do with this project. And also, of course, there is still uh, two other projects that I have to finish off, which I will do. So Tiny Zoo is on my list um, for a very long uh, live stream on Twitch. And also my uh, beloved um, Lost Aqualand is going to be finished fully. And both of those parks are going to be uploaded to the Steam Workshop. Um, and one thing I wanted to quickly say about that is I'm very sorry I never did, but it's just the, the passion that drives me doing these things um, is very strongly connected to what I enjoy doing the most, specifically because my time is uh, super short to make these videos. You know, there's like my real time job and, you know, we bought a house and I need to organize a lot of stuff. So, you know, I, I really have to focus on what I want to do. And these two projects obviously felt at the end a little bit off. And so now, as I do really want to finish them, um, I'm going to do the Lost Aqualand with a time lapse and the other one with a live stream. So that said, we are at the end of this very time lapse. And now I'm going to send you over to my future self. So enjoy that one. Here we are in the real-time episode, guys. As you can tell, this is the finished uh, Jaguar habitat. Before we actually go over into, um, I'm going to stop the game over here. And we're going to do some zookeeping, actually. And that means we're going to take care of everything that we need to take care of before the people come running in. Because as you can tell, there is no connection into this area quite yet, which is um, fully intentional because I didn't want to have all the people roaming around here already. Um, and I have to make sure that these you know connections are uh, planned out in a good way now as you can tell um, this habitat really I think it really 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 ties in in this area very nicely I'm gonna slap some more like bamboo in here to just cover that like connection off but I think you know in the comparison to those two I think it's it's gonna work out very well I mean of course those two animals are like pretty far apart uh, you know in the world regions kind of thing but um, in terms of climate and stuff they are pretty much similar to each other and so that is why this actually works out pretty well you can imagine also to have some pipe work maybe in the middle here that would be realistically where it would be and this is the backstage area now a couple of things we have to do first of all so we don't have a keeper assigned to this area um also just let me quickly take this little screenshot over here i love the fact how it is just moving over there like this entire thing just looks really cool doesn't it anyways um that's not what we're here for we are here for making the move and just do some stuff so first of all uh, we're gonna have to see if we find a second uh, jaguar because last time around i was not able to find one but there you go my god there are quite some over here can we have some for money as well no so we have to get some for the credits well i think it's fine you know um we got the black one over here see that's 3.4 years pretty well that one over here is even better and cheaper mm, i'm not really sure if i want to go with the black one right ahead because it just kind of takes the fun away of hoping for them you know i'm just not going to do this i'm just going to take this one and then we are going to hope for the best in the future. Now, um, that said, let's do the next thing over here. Just get a new keeper on the board. There you go. Just create a wonderful new work zone. Oh, I can't click you because you have to just come down to the ground. There you go. Oh, you're not standing fully. There you go. <laughs> My God. Okay, now I'm um, just going to reduce that over here. Got for the training is not ready yet. Okay, so let's go and create a brand new work zone, which is obviously having this habitat in here. And you're going to get this entire area over here of these buildings. Um, I'm going to talk about these buildings in a second because I skipped this in the time lapse. Now, this work zone is going to be called Jaguar. And I'm just going to consider that done. Now, as you can tell over here, um, the, the one problem we might have, actually, as I just look at it, there's just only one kitchen. Uh, we should solve that issue rather quickly uh, because we've got that, that and that. Yeah, let's quickly do this. Um, go to staff facilities, blueprints, and then I'm just going to kick that one in as well. Hello? Are you kidding? Hello? Let me just put that here. There you go. I really do hope that I can connect this now. I can. Awesome, that was an easy go. Now this is done and I have to go back into the work zone of that keeper, work zones, Jaguar, edit the work zone, you know what, you're just gonna, uh, oops, you can stay in there, click, and I'm just gonna go to the Bengal Tiger, edit that one too. I'm just gonna add all these buildings, there you go. And there should also be in the cheetah area, uh, I think I don't need to add anything else. What about the links, though? Um, shop links? Wait, does the links have an area on its own? 
Bengal Tigers, Cheetah Education Shop Links, Edit Work Zone. Uh, excuse me. Do we have anyone assigned to the links though? Is there like no keeper assigned to the links? But they're still living, right? Though that means there has to be someone assigned to them, right? Um, species reports, two alerts. Uh, that one is injured, okay. Environment maintenance. Uh, the keeper lost, oh. Yeah, no, that is good. We we have uh, Trisha. Trisha is working for us. Let's see what Trisha has uh, on on the on her list. Trisha, so you have the Bengal tiger on your list. That is no good. Is the Bengal tiger having the links in it? It does have the links in it. Okay, so here's the problem. I'm gonna call that Bengal tiger and links. So I'm not confused in the future anymore. Awesome. Okay, so that's done. Uh, now what we're gonna put down first is obviously um, some of these wonderful things called car um, donation bins. There you go. Uh, we're gonna put this donation box first of all here in that wonderful corner. Just make that. I'm I'm just going to try to make the color go a little bit with the, you know, with that what is on here. I just want to do it that way. Uh, oh, actually, no, nah, no. No, I thought, you know, I'm gonna make this like, you know, uh, color-wise like the Jaguar. I mean, maybe we can just have that like dotted, like Jaguar color over here, like for the... I think that's fine, you know, let's do it that way. Um, and then I'm just gonna put another one. Hello, I am just about to copy that one, awesome. So we put the other one just over here, just to kind of, you know, mess with that thing in the middle, just to keep that. There you go. Can I just, <laughs> okay. I could do that. It doesn't make sense, but you know, it's just floating in that tree now for the moment being. It's okay. It's okay. So we've got these two bins over there. We have some okay, uh, education going on, but I'm not entirely happy with this quite yet because I'm going to go for the media devices. We're going to have something for the kids to play with as well. This is going to be here because that's a paw indeed. And again, I want to make sure that the colors go kind of nicely in line with what we have over here. Um... Let me see. We can just have these digit colors. Yeah, there you go. I think that's fine. I really want to make them the change that we have these red... Th why can't we just recolor the, the paws? Really don't get this. Like, honestly, why why are we not able to do that? Uh, anyways, I'm going to put this here next to this stand. I think that's fine, just to give the kids some education too. This area over here looks super insecure to me. Let me just quickly do the following. Um, mesh, and then you're just going to put, like, this thing in here. I just kind of have the feeling that, uh, you know, it just kind of bugs me because people could easily just jump in there, which uh, clearly we wouldn't allow them to do so. So we're just going to put these kind of uh, wonderful fences in here and then, you know, just copy, paste, and, and let's have them a bit higher up. There you go. And surely, um, excuse me, just one, and then just move that over so that it stands like that. I think this is fine, you know, there, that way people cannot just jump easily in there. I think that just solves some of the issues too. Uh, we've got the Jaguar in here, that is good. Are you having any more issues, by the way? Terrain is superbly fine, environment is fine, enrichment is fine, that is fine, that is fine, social is fine, everything is fine, made awesome. So that is something I consider done, which is good. Um, let me just check if there's anything else to do. I think nothing in particular over here. And the one thing we don't have in this episode, as you may have figured, is we are not having a restaurant over here. Um, this is a bit of a pity, but uh, I, I don't see me doing that in this episode. It was quite a bit of work. Um, and also, um, I haven't found a solution for this area. Maybe if you guys have some comments about this, please let me know exactly in those down below in the comments what you would do over here because I am a little bit clueless how we could pull that off over here. Um, I have some ideas, but I'm like very much not happy with those yet in my mind, um, so I'm not gonna share them. Uh, I really hope that the people don't watch too closely through here. I'm just gonna give them access to this area, but I'm just really hoping that they won't be annoying and just like run into that so let me just yeah that's that's what i'm talking about okay so they move up here we might be able to just put some yeah that might be the one of the things i can do just put a vending machine up here why not just having one here like this that's food but we always need more drinks right so let's grab that drink the gulpy 
gulpy or barbam. Let's put that next to it and just grab another one from somewhere else. Maybe that pip chop water. It doesn't make any any great benefit or profit, but at least we have something for them to grab on. There you go. Um, and also what we can do now, this is connected. Now let's just try to connect that. I'm not going to delete the trees. I'm just going to put them next to the road. The one issue I have is obviously it is rather tiny over here. The, okay, well, we, we can't. We have to just make this thing meander through this area because um, otherwise that would lead to crazy traffic jams. So I'm not even I'm not even connecting this area. They should just focus on being here with uh, with the Bengal tiger. Like that. Okay, I mean we could. Oof. I'm trying this. We can always delete it, okay? We can always delete this connection. But for the moment, I really hope that they just don't stand still over here. They just might, you know, stand there for a moment and then just cross over. Because I like the idea of having this nice little bridge over here. You know, just go down that stair, just around that tree, because we are very nice to our environment. There you go. Just having that little area to path over. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to delete this for the moment being. Just delete that too. And then we're just going to get rid of one of those and the other one too. They're not really used anyway, so I'm just hoping for the best. Also, why is there no support over here? Ah, whatever. Okay, so this is done too. Um, while we are looking at this, we have to just fix that as well. This looks just kind of weird, not being on the ground. Uh, yeah. Just let's move that in. So we have this done, and there you go. Consider that done. Just grab that thing. Just kind of, you know, make sure we have some more nice looking areas here. Awesome. Let's hit play and see what happens because surely people should now start to join our zoo. Um, because obviously, we have uh, a new type of animal that should also do the job. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to place some benches in this area as well, um, just making sure that. You know, everyone is able to sit down on a bench, just enjoy that time a little better. That's a bit close to this area. Also, what I was wondering is, can I? No, I can't. I thought maybe with free build I can select multiple multiple benches at once, but I can't. So let's just. This is so weird, actually. Why? Like the problem is, I think since the last update, free build just kind of has some issues, and I really hope that this is going to be resolved. It, it starts to bug me a little bit, so um, I can't switch, like, once I have activated uh, free build, once, wait, are you, do I have two males in there? No, I have. Not, oh my god, I did get a male in there, why the hell did I do this? Um, because I'm stupid, okay, that's the easy, easy answer, but oh my goodness me. Um, which one of you is better? So, we've got T and we've got, um, no, hmm. So, 5.1 every dream, and we've got this one adult. You know what? We're just gonna sell you. Um, quick trade. Give me the 4,000. Awesome. There you go. Awesome. We made some money and we got it out of here. That's nice. Dangerous fighting. This is resolved. Let's get rid of this message. And facilities without power. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, facilities. Let's put down a wind turbine somewhere over here. And this can be a bit further off, I don't care too much. Um, we might need some more stuff there, so I'm just gonna put this here. Okay, well that should be fine for the moment. I'm, you know, I'm just going to connect that real quick and that's about it. There you go. We're gonna make this hidden away later on, you know. Look at that, people just come and join over here. Look, this is good. They come here to, you know, get some education. Love it. Go into facilities and we haven't been done yet with this, but we might also be able to have a, like an education. If we put the education talk up here, that would be ridiculous because that would be way too crowded. But we're definitely going to have like an education speaker in here. There you go. And this is obviously going to be the Jaguar talk. There you go. People will be influenced by that talk once they go up the up the staircase. They're looking over here. Well then, be educated, guys. Be educated. <laughs> I've actually no idea if this makes anything with though, but you know, uh, we're gonna see. Let's see how does this influence our our guest. Uh, well, why do we have protesters joining our zoo? 
What are you protesting for? Oh, Valentina, what is going on with you, Valentina? Just tell me. Just tell me. What's the problem? Space. Is that a little glitch? It is a little glitch. Um, so... That's an easy fix, I guess. Let's have a look. Yeah, there you go. Fixed it. Uh, wait, that is the... <laughs> Can I just click on that link, please? There you go. What about you? Awesome. What about space? All good. We have a little bit too much... Well, too much less... Uh, too much rock in here. So let's put some... Grass over the rock. There you go. That's, that's the easy fix. Okay, we made that, we make that. Um, also, we can just remove, or like, actually not remove, but move these things, because they're in the way now. Get away now, in the way now, get away now. Okay, so this is almost like a hint uh, into which area they go. Okay, look at that, guys, we made it. Um, and again, we don't even need to be bothering the money anymore. Um, and this is why I'm planning to do a little live stream on that soon. I'm just gonna hit pause, because uh, as you can see, it's going to take uh, be cloudy. But what we have to look at, as you can see, like most of the values are getting better, but education is still absolutely horrible. Now, what I have done already to boost this up is, I have already started to do some vet research, but as you can imagine, it's gonna take a while with only two vets. What I'm going to do now is, and this is also why I placed down um, our new research facility over here, is I'm actually going to, you know what, we can just quickly do this. Um, put two vets in, and there you go, actually three, you know what, now as we don't need to, you know, care for the money too much, we can actually go all in, um, just reduce their wage a little um and then oh that is a little bit too much because i clicked the wrong one there you go you are going to be leveled as well and then we just go back to the zoo we select everyone and we say training for everyone there you go and we also go back to vet research now as we have more of those we can just finally go and research everyone as you can tell um, and hopefully this is going to impact uh, our education rating as well in the positive way. Now, what we also have to look into is um, obviously making this whole area a bit more nicer. This thing over here is going to be focus of the live stream then, um, because this is looking ugly AF, same as this one. Um, the rest of the zoo is coming together rather nicely. I'm thinking about something for this area and in the higher mountain area this is where we have the you know snow leopard for example but I imagine like having maybe the cougar over here uh, could be a cool one so there are you know just to have a little idea of what we are um, still missing out on in this zoo so uh, going through here we do have the Bengal tiger obviously that one is done but obviously the Siberian tiger isn't quite done yet we still haven't done the clouded leopard which I'm looking forward to I was like really looking forward to that one um, can't wait to do that again as I said the cougar isn't done yet um, who's missing out else uh, let me just scroll through over here most of them have been done Jaguar has been just done over here um, I think the snow leopard is missing too let me just see uh, the Siberian tiger is missing the snow leopard is missing um, the West African line we obviously did. Uh, let me just quickly see the tiger, Bengal tiger. Uh, oh my god, this doesn't count. Um, <laughs> and we also have the Siberian tiger is obviously done. Um, the Aimer leopard is also one we haven't done in here yet. So still, there's a lot to do. But as you can see, the snow leopard, the Aimer leopard and the um, Siberian tiger, all animals of the north or of the colder area. So they will fill up this entire space over here and the cougar might go down in this area. Um, and I'm still thinking about putting the leopards over into this space and rebuilding this one as the um, Aimer leopard one. If that one isn't, I mean, it's... it's still shy though but maybe not as shy uh, but we're gonna see how that turns out anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode i certainly did enjoy it if you did enjoy the content you can either way watch another video which you will see on the end screen to your top right or you can actually join me for a live stream tonight we are going to be in yosemite valley if my computer is going to handle that if not we're going to start something new so be there or be square i'm gonna um 
see what how long I can stream, but I really would love to see you over there. Uh, join me on Twitch, link is in the description. And again, if you want to see more content like that and you have time now, click the video to your top right. And I see you in the next one. Have a good one and goodbye.